This is the Royal Master Grinder Model PG 12x4 high accuracy machine with our automated bar feeder, automated unloader with post process gauge and automatic compensation back to the machine controller. The grinder is our TG 12x4 high accuracy machine with bedrock, 8 inch thick granite, and the high accuracy machine controls have a servo motor, a gearbox, and a ball screw with a glass scale encoder. The encoder and the motor are four millionths or tenth of a micron resolution. The hood enclosure is interlocked. Inside the grinder, we have the work wheel, the regulating wheel, the work rest blade, the wheel dressers are motor driven across the dovetails with template tracing. On the entrance side, we have an entrance V and an exit V on the, on the exit side. The wood interlock can be closed and locked. And when the bypass is disabled, an operator cannot open the hood while the wheels are running. On the entrance side, we have a feeder which is fully guarded. We have locking open doors that cannot be opened except with the key access. When the key is unlocked, the hoods can open. So you have full access to reload the bars into the feeder without stopping the machine. The feeding sequence has the on-deck trough with a post that rises to lift one part into the gripper. The grippers will close on the part and on command they'll shift to the next beam and the singulator, the post, will be on a, a long extension cylinder and extend and uh, deliver the one part into the second beam. On command, it will rotate and deliver a bar into the grinding V, where the orange-colored cap stands can close and feed the bar into the machine on a timed uh, and speed set control. On the exit side, Enclosure is protected. With the enclosure off for observation, we can see that as the bar travels through on the exit side, in the machine hood, we've got the exit V and an air inventory to keep the coolant off of the unload system. We've got Teflon coated V and three station pin lift devices and a located gripper system which where the grippers will close and then pull apart. The gripper is positioned with the cylinder stop just beyond the pin that's been selected for the part grind length. As the part travels through the wheels and it gets to the end of its grind length on a time basis the pin device will lift and the bar will be presented to the grippers. The grippers close and the toolmatic cylinder will extend to the far end and drop the bar. Now you can see the bar as it comes out, as it travels through. Staying focused on this area. We've got the bar, which will finish grinding right about now. With the adequate time, the pin device will lift. Grippers close. The pin lowers. The grippers deposit. We rotate the V into the gauge. The gauge clamp operates. The probe extends. And there's six of these. That gauge 
has uh, measured and sent the compensation if needed to the machine controller. So the, the clamp device and the probe operate independently on different air cylinders to clamp, clamp the bar and then probe the bar probe the bar and it takes two seconds and then it reads that and sends it to the controller. Now, if the bar is out of tolerance, the uh, V will not rotate and the pin devices will be extended. So we have two uh, defaults for separating an out of tolerance bar. When the bar is good, the pins are retracted and the bar rotates into the main uh, collection trough. On the HMI, it's a touch screen. We've got a through feed grind screen, which is very straightforward, where you can start and stop the wheels. You can turn the coolant on and off or dress coolant. You can turn the mist collector on. You can change the regulating wheel speed. You turn the feeder on, put it in manual or automatic. Set your ram compensation amount manual. When we are operating the feeder, we have this middle screen selected, and the feeder is on, and we have status lights throughout the feeding operation, and it will have, these are the settings for the time for the cap stands, for how long it will feed the part into the wheels. This timer is the set timer for the unload, and if there was, uh, the 30 seconds and I wanted to shorten that, I would enter in 25 seconds, enter, and now that feed and the gauge unload would uh, happen faster. All right. Down below is the gauge panel. This is a technician level gauging screen. So the wire grippers will open and close and we've just unloaded so you saw some of these lights, status lights flashing on and off. The gauge is enabled for based on the length of the part and the status of the measurement is displayed in red, yellow, or green. And if it's red, it will reject the part and not rotate the part. Call the operator back. It has turned the alarm on. And I can see that it's yellow and the yellow status light is illuminated. So we have set this for a uh, rejected part to demonstrate the capabilities of the machine. You can acknowledge the error and close that and then go retrieve that part for future uh, measurement and adjustment. All right, now outside of the gauge panel screen, I have a gauge production screen which is intended for the operator to use. The operator has a much simpler screen where it's mostly a status, an update, and it tells him how that bar was and the last compensation amount and he sees the simple status lights. The gauge panel screen is more for a technician during the setup. This is the Royal Master Grinder TG 12 by four for through feed grinding bars with automatic load, unload, and post-process gauging. For more information, Contact us at royalmaster.com.